Well, no, at 6 o'clock, Cleveland Mayor Justin Bibb says he wants to see people held responsible after several street takeovers from over the weekend. This is something else, mm. right? Frightening situation for many local drivers. People in masks running around, smashing up cars. They're setting off fireworks. They're trying to light fires right in the middle of the road, all while blocking traffic. So our Arya Janelle went to several of those locations where those takeovers happen. She has the questions that desperately need answers. This intersection next to the West Side Market is one of seven places where those street takeovers took place on Saturday. The people who live here in City Council want to know two things. They want to know who did this and how police are going to hold them responsible. In the face of the mayor, in the face of the safety director, the chief of police saying, we'll do whatever we want because you're not, going, uh, you're not going to enforce the law. On Saturday around 11 p.m. in seven different locations, chaos broke out. Hey, don't get out of the vehicle, get off. According to police, people were setting off fireworks, doing donuts in the road. People in masks were running up to cars and shutting down major highways. Cleveland Councilman Michael Polinsic says what happened this weekend is unacceptable and could have ended badly. People on your car damaging your vehicle, you don't know what can happen. No one was hurt, but it's shined a light on a problem the councilman says Cleveland has been having all summer. Sky German tells me these street takeovers are nothing new on West 25th. There almost was an accident last week because of it, so I think it should stop, and I think the police should get on it. Sky says on multiple occasions, people come through Lorraine and do donuts in the road and run red lights, putting you and your family in danger. The police see them, and the police don't stop them, because there's usually a police that sits up there at the rapid, and then at the corner by Dave's, and they just don't stop. They don't have enough people. Polinsic is asking police to hold these people accountable and wants to know why more backup wasn't called sooner. Mayor Justin Bibb says his administration is working to find solutions. Well, I've instructed my administration to utilize innovative ways to address it head on. Now, we've identified high volume areas and are working to implement new measures. I reached out to Cleveland police asking if any arrests were made, how much outside help they received, and if they have video of the people who did this. I was told they're still gathering information. The way you end this, you arrest people. You give them tickets as well. You confiscate their vehicles. You charge them with everything you can. The police chief is expected to be at the safety committee meeting on Wednesday at 10 a.m. City Council is hoping to learn exactly what happened on Saturday, if any arrests have been made, and how police plan to move forward. Here in Cleveland, I'm Aria Janelle, 19 News.